It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and we welcome you to the Science Bowl. Thank you for tuning us in, and we hope you play along and test your own science IQs against the six young people playing our game today. Let's meet our two elementary teams. First, from Hillcrest Heights Elementary School, would you please say hello to Mary Olawale, Zayana Cloyd, and Jalea Thomas. She's waving to us. Pointer Ridge is our next school. Would you please welcome to our program, Brandon Epps. Matthew Hurst and Jasmine Johnson. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with the easier questions on the left. They're worth five and 10 points. The tougher ones, 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. And to the two rounds today, one of these two talented teams, good looking teams, will come back to play our game again and perhaps advance to the semifinals. Let's go over and make sure everything works properly. Hillcrest Heights, Zayana, would you try your buzzer? All right, uh, looks and sounds good. Good luck to you and to Jalea and to Mary. And Matthew, would you try your buzzer? It too seems to be A-OK. -okay. Good luck to you, to Jasmine and Brandon. Brandon, everybody looks a little bit nervous, and you know that is absolutely normal because the last time you did this was never. So you're thinking, oh my gosh, what is this man saying over there? Can I do it? Can I leave now? You're going to have a fine time. And you have already won because your school's picked you to be here. So you're kind of ambassadors for your school. So just smile and relax. Like I say, you've already won. Let's have a good time. Hillcrest Heights H comes before P, so Zayana, let's play the ball. Go. Zoo for don't, 15. Don't press it yet. Don't press it yet. Just wait until you hear the question, and then uh, if you know the answer, that's when you ring in. Go ahead, honey. Zoo Parade for 15. Zoo Parade for 15 points. Teams, your fingernails and the horn on a rhino are both made of the same substance called keratin. Keratin. I'll give you 15 points if you can spell keratin. All right. K. So, hold on just a second. Girls, talk among yourselves in case I have to come to you softly so they can't hear you. And then, Matthew, are you going to be the speller? Yes. Say the word for me again. Keratin. Yes, sir. K-E-R-T-A-I-N. Ooh, so close, so close. All right, Zayana, hope you heard what he did. You now have a chance to spell the word keratin. Say it for me. Are you the speller? Are you going to do it? Pass to Mary. Mary, are you gonna, you're going to be. She just said you're the speller. Say the word for me. Keratin. Okay. Spell. Go ahead. K. K. A. R. T. O. N. Good try. K. E. R. A. T-I-N was the correct answer. No points that time, so you want to pick again. Go ahead. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, we, we all, even though we don't like to think about it, we all have tails. We have a tailbone. It's called the coccyx. That coccyx is made up of four of these bones fused together. You have to know a little bit about the skeletal system. What bones are fused together to make your tailbone? Four of what kind of bones? They're known as vertebrae. 
you know, you've got vertebrae in your spinal column here, you know, boom, 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 boom. You can feel them back there. Down at the bottom, they're all smooshed together and they form a coccyx. That's your tailbone. Okay, uh, go red. Go ahead. Green things for five. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, sometimes dogs are brought out to help hunt bear in the woods. The dogs are chasing the bear. And sometimes the dogs are barking up the wrong what? Matthew. Tree. Tree. Because it's a green thing. Good. Pointer Ridge, go. Um, can we have, let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, these storms have eyes, but the eyes don't blink. What kind of storms are I, am I talking about? They have eyes, but they don't blink. Hur Matthew. Hurricanes? Hurricanes, yeah. You see those pictures from space, that big swirling thing, and in the center, there's that calm area called the eye of the hurricane. Good answer. Go again, green. Um, let's zoop rate for 10, please. Zoop rate for 10 points. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please. You might say that this is a Jurassic Terror Fitch. It is an ancient representation of what flesh-eating fish that swims in the Amazon per Hillcrest Heights. Piranha fish. Piranha fish, that's it. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, Mary, for your help. That's how to work as a team. Now you got some points. Go red. Ziana, you pick. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10. Physical for 10 points. Teams, there is a chemical element that is radioactive that is used in the production of atomic bombs. It is named for this chemical element. What planet that got kicked out of the planet club? Pluto. Hillcrest Heights? Pluto. Yeah, just wait till I acknowledge you. Pluto it is, and the chemical is called plutonium. Good, go red. Body system for 10. Body system for 10. Body system for 10 points. Team G, if you go to a scary movie, Halloween. You're sitting there. You're looking like this because it's all bloody. So your body starts to react. Your heart starts beating faster. Your pupils, the pupils dilate. And these body parts tense up. What are they? What do they? What body parts tense up? Your muscles. Your muscles. So you can run away if the monster gets too close. Go again, red. Go ahead. Um, let's see. Green things for 10. Green things for 10, please. Green things for 10 points. Absolutely. You're welcome. Here we go. Uh, the 10 point question. This word means a number of different things the body's torso, the proboscis of an elephant, or the stem of a tree. What same word can mean all those things, Zayana? Trunk. A trunk, yeah. An elephant's trunk, this is your trunk, and also the trunk is the stem of a tree. Okay, that buzzer says the first round's over. 80 for Hillcrest Heights, 60 for Pointer Ridge. Round two, straight ahead, don't go away. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're enjoying this game at home as much as we are here in the studio. Six players have never been here before. They are very young students, but boy, they are acquitting themselves very nicely. And we're going to add some more points in the second half. But first, let's go over and talk to them about themselves and their schools. Hillcrest Heights, you guys have been here many times before. Miss Ribera is out there. She's a great coach. Who's the principal down there, Ziana? Miss Brown. Miss Brown, that's right. I know she is very proud of you guys as well. You're all wearing those matching shirts. You wore them just for us today. The Hawks of Hillcrest Heights. That's alliterative. Hillcrest Heights Hawks. I like that. Uh, any alternates on your team? I think I met two. Yes. What are their first names? Avon and Myla Grace. And they'll be out in just a few moments' time here. Thank you. Tell me something about Hillcrest Heights that you're really proud of. You like to brag about to your friends. Boy, I go to Hillcrest Heights and we do. What do you do there? We have the PTLW group, and our teachers are very invested in their students. Wow, that's beautifully said. Tell me, what does PTLW mean? PTLW. The, uh, I'm not 100 percent sure either. But what does it, what's it about? Is it about good behavior, or what it's, is it? It's a science group. Oh, it's a science group. Wow, that's perfect because you guys are here on the science bowl. 
Uh, you want to have your own hair salon someday, yeah? Yeah, well, you're a very stylish young lady. I can see that they came and said, I want to look like her. I want to look like her. Doing a nice job here today. Jalea, tell us the Jalea story. What do you do in your spare time? My spare time, I read, you read? books, yeah. and I draw. And you draw. What kind of books do you like to read? Chapter books. Yeah, yeah. And reading, students who read do really well on this show. And you guys already have a, a lead here, so you're doing all the right stuff. Um, what do you want to do when you get older? I want to be a meteorologist. Meteorologist. We were talking about that before. Do you want to be on camera? Do you want to be on TV and deliver yes. the weather forecast? I can see you doing that. you got a nice smile, and it's all about engaging the audience. Mary, uh, you told me that you are a good science student. You were in the fourth grade. Here yes. you are in the fifth grade. You're still good. You've proven that already here today. Uh, how do you know so much science? Studying, and I, my mom helps me a lot, and I'd actually like to acknowledge her because she's, she helps me a lot with my spelling. She's amazing. She's an amazing mom. That's just beautiful. I bet your mom is just wherever she is, she's smiling right now. What a nice tribute to your mom. Uh, what do you want to do someday, Mary? I don't know yet. Yeah, I know you want to go to Benjamin Stoddard mm -hmm. uh, at middle school. One step at a time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of experiences and. Uh, you're going to change your mind a lot of times, and that's what life is about. I do that a lot. Yeah. yeah. Good to have you here. Pointer Ridge, nice to have you guys with us. Matthew, tell us about Pointer Ridge. Uh, Miss Dr. Stevenson is over there. Yes. We were there recently. You guys got a big check for $10,000 yes. from, uh, what was it, uh, Burlington yes. Coat Factory. And uh, uh, Miss Reedy is there. She's a wonderful coach, yes. and she brings wonderful teams here every every year and we we like having you guys here any alternates matthew uh we have no alternates no alternates just you guys once they pick you that's all we need that's all we need what do you like about pointer ridge i like that all of our teachers try to help us through whenever we don't understand something yeah because that's what life is because we don't none of us knows everything and the older we get the less we know it seems sometimes and you need people to help explain things so you're in a good school if that's what they're doing for you what do you want to do someday matthew i want to play soccer yeah. Professionally. Do you play soccer now? Yes. What team? Uh, South Philly Sharks. Yeah. Have you been down to see the new soccer stadium in D.C. yet? The yeah. Audi field? You have to go see that. Le uh, Jalea's uh, nodding her head yes over there. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew, for being here. Jasmine, tell us about yourself. How are you? Good. You're obviously having a good time today. We love having you here. Tell us what you want to do someday. I want to be a track star, and I also I want to be a teacher. Yeah. And you told me you want to teach science. Yeah. Maybe uh, to students like you someday, right? Yeah. Yeah. You said a track star. What track events do you run or do? I do the 55, the 200, and hurdles. Wow. Sounds like you're fast. We're going to yeah. see you in the Olympics someday? Yes. That's it. Dream big. Dream big. <laughs> Brandon, nice to have you with us today. Tell us the Brandon story. What do you do in your spare time? Um, I like to read books. I like to play baseball and soccer. Yeah. And you want to play for the New York Yankees someday, right? Yeah. We're going to see you in the pinstripe uniforms up there. You're going to follow in the footsteps of Mickey Mantle. Uh, what position do you play? Um, I play pitcher and third baseman. Very good. All right. So you're a, a coach's dream. You're kind of a utility player. And it's good to have you here on the Science Bowl today. Let's get back to our game. 60 for Pointer Ridge, 80 for Hillcrest Heights. Last correct answer came from the red team. Are we ready to go? Yes. Let's do it. Ziana, let's go. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. All right, teams. The, in a tree, the branches and the leaves at the top have the same name as the visible part of your tooth, the top of your head, and it's also another name for what a queen puts on her head. Ziana? A crown. A crown, yes. Good. Go red. Zuparate for 20. Zuparate for 20. Super eight for 20 points. This is a very interesting question. I know you know this. How many of you have a dog? Yeah. Well, you know, dogs, they eat carbohydrates. They can eat bread and other things. 50% of a dog's diet can be carbohydrates. So they're not like wolves. Wolves are strictly carnivorous. They have to have meat. But since dogs eat meat and carbohydrates, they're not carnivores. They're these. Omnivores. Omnivores, exactly right. They are omnivorous. Good answer. Go green. Um, can we have science potpourri for 10? Potpourri for 10 points. I know you know this one. Teams, this piece of laboratory equipment, I know you've all used it, is oftentimes used for something that is under intense scrutiny, as in, we're going to put that under the what? 
They're looking at something. It's under the what? Correct answer is microscope. Under the microscope. Go again green. We'll turn um, that light out and we'll let Matthew ask the next question. Can we have, let's get physical for 15, please. Get physical for 15 points is a multiple choice question. All right, teams, listen carefully to these words. They sound like they're big words, but if you listen, you'll know what I mean. Krypton, which a lot of people associate with Superman, kryptonite. Krypton usually does not join up with any other chemicals. Well, they just recently discovered that it does, so that means krypton is no longer inert, inanimate, or insoluble. It used to be one of those, but now it does form different chemicals with other chemicals. Inert, inanimate, or insoluble. Which one? Insoluble. Not insoluble. Good try. Matthew. Inert. Inert. Yes, inert means non-reactive. Well, now we know it is reactive. Nice comeback. Look at that. We got a tie score. 95 all. Go green. Um, can we have Dateline Science for 10? Dateline Science for 10 points. Teams, who was the very first woman to ever win a Nobel Prize? She actually won two of them in her lifetime, one for physics and one for chemistry that she shared with her husband. Name that woman for 10 points. That's Marie Curie. Marie Curie. Go again, green. Um, can we have Zoo Parade for five? Zoo Parade for five points. Teams, among the world's ratites that include the ostrich and the emu and the kiwi, are this big yellow creature on Sesame Street whose actor and voice recently retired. Big Bird? Big Bird, yeah. Big Bird, like those other birds, can't fly. That's what a rat tight is. Good job. Yeah, you listened to all those clues and you came up with it. All right, you got a five point lead. Don't get cocky. Keep playing. Let's go. Signs potpourri for 15, please. Potpourri for 15 points. How many of you like candy? I'm putting my hand up too. You know, when they make candy, it's all about the sugar crystals, you know? All the candy is different, but it's all just sugar. It's a disaccharide sugar. It's a multiple choice question. Is the sugar in candy glucose, fructose, or sucrose? Which of those three is considered a disaccharide? It's a tough question. Glucose, fructose, sucrose, cyana. Sucrose. Say it again. Sucrose. Not fructose, no. Glucose, fructose, or sucrose is the sugar, the disaccharide sugar, in candy. You're down to two choices. Come on, help them out, Brandon. Um, glucose. Well, neither of you chose. Sucrose is, is the candy sugar. Go again, green. Uh, I'm sorry. Matthew? Um, can I have green things for, I mean, body systems for five, please? Body systems for five points. Teams, what sense organ can go before the words sore and candy depending on whether or not something is nice to look at or kind of nasty to look at. Eye. Eye. Eye candy or eyesore. That's it. Good. You've tied it up. 100 points. Go red. Size probably for five. Size probably for five. Size probably for five points. Teams, if you saw the movie The Incredibles, you know Lucius Best, Frozone, if he were to touch something, it would freeze. Just like what queen in Frozen? Elsa. Point of Ridge? Elsa. Elsa, yeah, Elsa. Poor thing. Cole never bothered her anyway. Go green. Um, can we have Dateline Science for five? Dateline Science for five points. Have you ever heard of someone butt dialing you with their phone? You know, oh, what? oh, my butt must have dialed it. Well, recently in Hawaii, one of these lizards toe dialed over a million people accidentally, a lizard we see on TV that represents an insurance company. Point of um, Ridge. Geico or? I want the lizard. Oh, what is it? I want the lizard. Um, salamander? No, no, no. Hillcrest Tide, you can get the points. It is the lizard. You got a big hint from Matthew. What's the name? What's the name? Chameleon. Chameleon? A gecko. The Geico Gecko. The Geico Gecko toe dialed people. He ran all over a computer screen, kept dialing people's numbers. What? 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 Nobody there. Go red. Go green. 
Um, can we have green things for 20? Green things for 20 points. Teams, you all know that if you cut a tree down, there are rings inside. They put down one ring every year. And what A initialed word describes something that occurs every year, like plants that live for just one year, Pointer Ridge? Age. Not age, no. Annual. Annual, absolutely. That's what I want to hear. Good. Red, go. An annual ring. Go ahead, Zayana. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, if you know the Bible, Sometimes God's wrath is, says we're going to bring fire and brimstone down on you. Brimstone is actually this chemical element that is represented by the letter S. Sulfur. Sulfur, that's it. Sulfur is brimstone. Go, Zayana. You're cooking. Go. Mm, Daylight signs for 15. Daylight signs for 15, which is a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, everybody. The state fossil of California is the saber-toothed tiger. But the state fossil of the state of Colorado is this dinosaur. Name it. Stegosaurus. Matthew. Stegosaurus. You got it. It's the Stegosaurus. Good answer, Matthew. Good. Go. Um, can we have science potpourri for 20, please? Potpourri for 20 points? Uh, you may indeed. There is a new book out that sells you the secret of cooking. Good cooks know that it takes salt, heat, fat, and this kind of chemical that turns litmus papers red when they're dipped in. Name that kind of chemical. You should know this. Salt, fat, heat, and this. Include them all, you're a good cook. Correct answer is acid. Acid. Litmus papers. Blue and red litmus papers. Base, acid, go, acid, go, green. Um, body systems for 20, please. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, you know, your body temperature changes every day. The amount of urine you produces, produce changes every day. Those are a number of physiological features of your body that are said to have circadian rhythms because they all take place in what span of time? 24 hours. 24 hours, yes, sir. Excellent, good. Go, um, Dateline science for 20. Dateline science for 20 points. Teams, there is a very serious disease now. You might have seen it on the news called acute flaccid myelitis. Young people are suddenly becoming paralyzed. It is very similar to what P initial disease. Polio. Zayana? Polio. Polio. Yes, indeed. Yes. It is another myelitic disease. Go. Red. Green things for 25. All the toughest questions are left. Which one? Green things for 25. Green things for 25 points. Teams, your question is as follows. The big leaf magnolia tree has, among trees in North America, the biggest leaves and the biggest flowers. But unlike most magnolias, which are evergreen, these trees lose their leaves every year, and they're known as these kinds of trees. For 25 points, Zayana. You said they lose their leaves year after year? Perennial? Not perennial. Nope. Pointer Ridge, you're down 20 points. You can take the lead. You can tell me, unlike most magnolia trees, which are evergreens, the big leaf magnolia sheds its leaves every year. Thus, it is known as this kind of tree. Deciduous. Deciduous. Oh, the buzzer says that's it. We've come to the end of our game. It looks like by 20 points, Hillcrest Heights is our winner. We will double check that score and be back with you in a moment. Don't you go away. Welcome back to Science Bowl. Great game here today. Almost an upset there at the end. Our final tally today is Pointer Ridge 140, Hillcrest Heights 160. Congratulations to Mary and Zayana and Jalea. And look at the two alternates back there. Wave, guys. Avon and Myla and Miss Rivera, congratulations. We will see you in the next round. Let's give them a nice round of applause. Hillcrest Heights, good game. And Pointer Ridge, Brandon and Matthew and Jasmine, you played a terrific game. Miss Reed, congratulations to you too. Let's give them a hand as well. Pointer Ridge, you did a super job here today. We hope to see you next time in our next edition of Size Bowl. I'm Dave Zarin. Until then, bye-bye.